-hmm. it was supposed to come out uh, one year earlier, but then uh, it was postponed, and then it was released on the day where the national national security law was implemented. So, um, you know, when I watched it, it was after July 1st, and so it's actually very ironic because a lot of things that I have said in the movie, you know, right now I cannot say anymore you know, unless I want to get arrested. So, um, that shows you how <clears throat> important it is you know, for these moments to be documented. It is actually a very scary situation right now in Hong Kong because uh, you just don't know what might get you arrested. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, I, I feel it's a, a very saddening thing that, you know, all these years, um, whether it's in the 70s, in the 80s, 90s, or right now, you see all these um, different situations in Hong Kong where people feel the need to leave their homes. And so this is a very sad reality in Hong Kong uh, because you know, somehow we just feel you know, in different, for different generations of Hong Kong people, we have had this need to 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 flock to somewhere that is safer and that is exactly why we feel the need to fight as hard as we can right now in hong kong <laughs> The, the first day that we went onto the streets and we decided to be in this fight, um, for me, it was you know, to fight till the end with the people. I don't think that this is a fight only of Hong Kong people. This is a fight for anyone globally who believes in these universal rights, uh, these universal values that we all cherish and so you know, I hopefully you know this might inspire someone around the world uh, in a different country maybe in I don't know Africa uh, or uh, wherever there are these injustices you know, I think I'll fight um, is an inspiration. For the first time in Hong Kong, you see these people fighting for something that they believe in. And I was screaming, Yay, go! We're proud, and that's why we support her here as well. Because I think she truly represents Hong Kong, and she is a true Hong Konger.